Once we have a good foundation, the second course will be timber framing for a hempcrete structure. Now, of course, the hempcrete works by shuttering, the technique of shuttering with an inner core of material, of, of in this case, will be a spruce. Then the hempcrete is then built around that inner core of material of, of, our, of, our, of our timber, and then you raise up your hempcrete right to the top. So you have to build, first of all, your, your timber frame, which is all then going to be completely encased in the hempcrete. This is going to be a very exciting um, and sort of bare bones sort of structural um, skeleton for the project. And then uh, the next stage will obviously be the infilling of the hempcrete itself. Another workshop we're going to be offering once we've established our timber frame is to actually infill and build the walls itself using the hempcrete. And this is going to be a real hands-on experience with a team of maybe five or six people if you want to sign up now. And this is a technique of mixing your hempcrete using hemp, lime and water in a cement mixer and then transferring it into buckets and then infilling your shuttered uh, um, walls, with such, uh, your shuttering and infilling with the hempcrete. And we can do a lot in one day with a good team and it will be a very exciting process. We'll see the walls go up each day by about uh, half a meter. And so over a period of some days, we should get to our, our sort of two meter, two, two meter 20 height, height for the first wall. So um, this will be one of our very exciting workshops. Okay, so then, um, yeah, it's going, uh, floor slabs, yeah, okay, then framing, uh, hempcrete and chuttering process, right, okay. Once we have a roof on our heads, or maybe before, we'll be working on the floors. Now, with this particular project, we're going to have to take away all the old floor that's there, which is, to be honest, not very good. It's a mixture of um, earth and rock and some added uh, cement and uh, concrete from a later date, but probably it's a very thin and unsubstantial uh, floor uh, completely. So the plan is to dig away down to the depth that we need to get to a solid base, and then we're going to then use the, uh, to create our hemp hempcrete floor slab, we're going to use different levels of materials, finally ending up with the hempcrete, and on top of that, we're going to be doing a, like a lime, thin lime, uh, special mortar on top of that to create an actual floor surface. So this will be a very hands-on workshop, shifting a lot of material in and out um, and creating uh, all the different levels, which will make up for to be a breathable floor, which is the most important thing, that these floors will be breathable. Because if we try and keep the damp down, it will come up the sides. So which is a completely different way of building. When you try and keep that down and out, you end up having to completely seal the whole base of your structure. In old buildings, for instance, you see so much damp. Here in Spain, you see so much damp in the old houses because the foundations are, are of the original type of foundation, not using cement, but using sort of stone, and lime, and earth. Earth, of course, sucks up a lot of water. As soon as your modern builder comes in to repair your wall with cement and plastic paint, you then seal the wall and all the moisture will just go up and it wants to escape. So you must, from the word go, create a completely breathable structure, which is the beauty of this way of eco-building, to create um, so that the, the moisture doesn't build up anywhere, it can just be released and breathe and not ever build up in form of damp and mould. Okay. Then we've got uh, wall restoration, yeah, okay. Another interesting workshop we'll be giving is in uh, wall restoration in a hemp lime render. Many houses, for instance, here in Spain, as in other parts of the world, are made with original stonework. And the great mistake, as I've previously said, is to try and seal that in with a sort of, or repair them with, with concrete and cement, which will stop the, uh, it will create a sort of barrier and the damp that's already, of course, in the walls, often coming up from, from the again. ground. Another very interesting workshop that we will be running is uh, wall restoration in the hemp lime render technique. 
if you try and repair old walls in concrete and cement, what you're doing is you're effectively sealing the moisture in that area and it will find its way everywhere else. The moisture will never go away, will never stop. So you must take away, if you're doing a wall restoration, is take away all the added cement and inappropriate materials from your wall and then we're going to be using like a hemp lime render which will provide insulation as well as using the lime which will provide a breathable surface so the wall can, can breathe which will create start to create your beautiful environment in your eco home and i think this is going to be a very useful workshop for people to follow because uh, many houses people like to restore and the first make no mistake is to use wrong materials in the restoration process Right, insulation, uh, uh, planning, setting up permaculture, then timber framing. Oh, wow, look, then we've just got to insulating a roof using hempcrete. Okay, all right. Here, as we well know, the summer months can be so hot. And if you've got your traditional concrete slab as your roof, uh, that in the spring is okay. And come summer, that roof heats up like an oven. And any the dwelling you have below that roof just becomes unbearable. Again, in the summer, that it's sorry, in the in the winter, that same roof has absolutely zero um, insulation properties, and your houses are just freezing. And every effort you make to heat up with electric heaters inside your house will just completely go to waste, money down the drain, and your house will still be cold. What we are proposing in this workshop will be to. Uh, use hempcrete to insulate our roof. Our roof will be made in a quite traditional way with uh, solid, that should be laminated um, uh, spruce beams. Then on top of that, we're going to be using as our reinforcement, we're going to be using um, uh, cane bought in rolls. And then on top of that, we'll be using a hempcrete slab. So which will be reinforced in different, uh, using uh, wooden members across the, the roof structure. So this will offer enormous um, heat and cold insulation for our house project.